Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we're doing an acrylic glass painting, also known as anime glass painting. I recently did one for Miraculous Ladybug and take a look at how it turned out. It's so beautiful. If you have not seen that video, check it out after this video. Today I decided that we should do one for My Little Pony and I picked Pinkie Pie. Here is my reference picture. This is Pinkie Pie in the Pony Life chibi style. For the glass, we'll be using one from an old picture frame. Other supplies include acrylic paint, an X-Acto knife, and some paint pens. These paint pens are oil-based, which is very important. Don't use water-based pens because they do not write very well on glass. And they also get rubbed off from the acrylic paints that we're going to be using on top of it. Alright, let's get started. Here, we're taking the glass out of the frame. And then we're going to tape the reference picture to the back of the glass. Now using the oil paint pens, we're going to trace the outline of Pinkie Pie. If you make a mistake at this point, you can use some acetone to wipe off the paint. If it's just a small mistake, you can use an X-Acto knife to scrape the paint off the glass. For the finer details, I like to switch to a pen with a finer tip. Okay, the outlining is done. Make sure to check frequently that there are no gaps in the paint. Now that's paint. We're going to start with a yellow and blue. We are starting with the smaller details first because we want them to be on top of the picture when we look at it from the front. This way the main pictures will be layered behind the details. The paint also needs to be very thick so that other colors and or light doesn't come through the paint. So that means you may need to add multiple coats of paint. Here are the blues we'll be using for the eyes. For the irises, before we paint, I'm going to add some glitter as the first layer. I think this will look very pretty. Then, once the glitter has dried, we'll add the blue paint on top of it. So, the rest of Pinkie Pie is going to be various shades of pink. I'm going to be using these three colors to get the colors I need. As we start to layer the paint, the most time-consuming part is waiting for each layer to dry. If the paint is not dried, they will blend and mix and then you will not get the clean lines between colors. Another thing to do between layers is that once the paint is dry, you will need to clean up the lines with an X-Acto knife. This is your chance to smooth out or remove any mistakes. But be careful so that you don't remove layers that are underneath. Thank you. 
Here for the final layer, the area is so large I'm just going to squirt paint on top and spread it out. And as you can see, I'm keeping the paint very very thick. Alright everyone, and we are done. So all the different layers of paint are completely dried and as you can see, I've kept it very very thick. This way the light will not come through when we flip it over. So let's go ahead and remove our reference picture. One thing I forgot to do is to flip the image before printing. But I think that's okay because there are no words in the image and it should look okay both ways. Alright, are you ready? Let's go ahead and flip it over. And here it is. The eyes turned out so good. Look, it's sparkly. So what I love about the glass painting is that it's a really cool effect. So you can actually pop this up on your desk and display it like this. And as you can see, it is so nice. You can see right through it. And then you have a beautiful picture of Pinkie Pie here right in the middle. Alright everyone, so what do you think of my picture of Pinkie Pie? Do you like it? If you do, give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye!